Hey there, this is OneUp Indie here with a game design video where we're gonna do some rocket barrage. So the first one is kind of vanilla, which you just have a homing rocket, a two liner. So if you just wanna know how to do that quick and dirty, then you're gonna be finished in one minute. But of course, um, this is the interesting part and then later on an explanation how that works. And then the special part, the rocket barrage, the real cool, almost armored core, but uh, for well, guys without budget. So basically me, um, how you can do that in game as well with multiple rockets firing off a barrage and then just multi homing and then just, you know, looking definitely more decent. So tons of additional stuff, which is just making this much more enjoyable for the eye and for playing around. So if you want to join me on this small little journey in this first part of the two series, then stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel? Of course. Alrighty, let's go quickly into Game Maker. There will be at the very end an explanation what this line actually means. We have this nice little line here, and then what we're going to do is so first of all we have two parts. First of all, how fast you want to have the turning around speed being incrementally. So each step we're getting adding up a value, which is this thing here. This is just a value which is zero, one or minus one, which is pretty cool. So basically here it will just, you know, be uh, going uh, upwards with the car, uh, rocket or downwards concerning the angle or zero, then nothing is happening because if you multiply something with zero, nothing is happening. And then how fast you want to have it. And this is pretty much it. And then of course, because we want to have it visually, um, the image angle is also being um, set to our current direction. And this is pretty much what we're going to do. And then we have a target, which is then our object enemy. That's this guy here, or at least one of those. A suboptimal solution, but it does work. And then um, well, that's pretty much the code for our rocket. So as you can see, <laughs> really nothing going on here. Just uh, so you can fill in. We're just creating an explosion, destroying the rocket, and then, well, destroying the other thing, which is the enemy as well. And this is how the rocket works. Easy peasy stuff. And then let's go into our um, vanilla uh, player here. Kind of easy stuff. So first of all, we're just checking for an input. So keyboard check, I don't know, space or whatever you want to have. And then if we release our keyboard, well here it's space, then we create a vanilla rocket. And then of course here we got some numbers. Quick explanation basically here. Um, why is it X minus AD minus uh, Y minus 95? Well, because our dude is anchored at the bottom here. This little zoom, this guy here. And so basically we just have to go, ooh. Uh, can I zoom in? Yeah, oh god. Um, <laughs> so basically, we just need to go upwards and to the left, and so therefore minus, minus. This is just for explanation of those numbers, what they actually mean. And, well, first of all, we want to have a starting direction because we are shooting off from the back. So let's actually go in here. We got our rocket here. We are shooting from the back. We don't want it to be, you know, the default is zero, which is pointed to the right. So we just go minus 180 and then mm, minus something like this. So we got ourselves a starting thing and then it can slowly turn around until well, it does its thing. So basically this is what the 180 minus 35 mean. It's just a start angle. You can set it up whatever you like. And then the rocket speed set to uh, three. So basically it's constantly flying with the speed of three, which kind of looks, I don't know, a little bit janky, but it does the trick. So as you can see, and then once it has the right direction, and then it will fly towards. But of course, if you want to say like, ah, I want to make it even longer, I wanted to make even longer loops, uh, let's go 0 uh, 0.6. Hopefully we will still hit a target because now turning around is really slow. As you can see, ooh, it is just out of the screen. Come down, as you can see, taking <laughs> quite some time. See so here once again, the turning speed 
um, well, you need to adjust until it feels right. So if you just wanted to know how to do that, the code will be uh, in, the, in the comment section. So you can ch just check it out easy peasy. But let's go into the explanation if you want to know what it actually entails, what this whole line means. So there are a few things. So first of all, here we have a turning speed. So how fast we want to have. So we can just kind of separate it into two parts. So uh, this here. And then the second part is the sign and the angle difference. So a few things which you need to understand is our rocket has a direction. So let's go with, uh, I don't know, here yeah, this one. So it's pointing uh, downwards here. And then we have a second angle, which is our perfect direction to our target from here to here. So this is what this line means. And then we say like, hey, we want to have the angle. So this one here, so we have point direction. And then we want to have the difference, which is then angle difference of the perfect to our current one. So this is this line. Yeah, it's look, looking kind of bad now. <laughs> Sorry for that. And then sign, which is just clamping it down because we want to have a constant updating, which is then just the plus equals. And then sign is just clamping all the information which we're having in here, just giving back zero one or minus one. So let's say here we have a difference which is kind of positive. So the the value would be the um, difference, I don't know, 30, 45 degrees or 50 or whatever. Then it would say it's one. If for example, it would be different. So uh, our rocket is kind of turning around here. Then we have a negative thing. Then it would go with a minus one. And therefore, because we want to control how we are turning around, then we have kind of a value here, which is our turning around speed. That's pretty much it. And then we add, well, the zero, one or minus one value times how fast we want to turn around and then just add it up to our current direction and then set our image angle to that. That's what it means. Hopefully more digestible and easy to understand right now. Okay, hopefully you understood this and see you maybe in the second part which will be definitely a little bit more beefed up with that dude here just looking so cool i really dig how they made this pixel art a robot here so armored core for cheap guys like me so <laughs> have a good one maybe for the next video one up